Prepare for the practice of Yoga Nidra. Come to lie in Shavasana on your back, legs out in front, arms by your side and palms facing upwards. And settle into your Nidra nest. Take time to make yourself as comfortable as you possibly can. Bringing blankets, pillows, maybe an eye mask to create the most comfortable space imaginable. And this preparation is really worth taking the time for, to make your most comfortable space, your cocoon of comfort. In doing so, you take the rightful responsibility of being here, for giving yourself this time of deep rest, of recuperation, of reconnection to yourself. You're giving yourself permission to pause, to close down the eyes and know that you are welcome here. You are welcome exactly the way you are. You are welcome as a beloved would welcome you or a dear friend you haven't seen for a long time. Every part of you is welcome. And remember, this is your practice, your experience, your journey. So take agency and fully trust yourself, inviting your own personal and unique journey inwards. Remember the words of Eckhart Tolle, be at least as interested in what goes on inside you as what happens outside. If you get the inside right, the outside will fall into place. And let everything go now. Come into the present moment, this moment, knowing you can fully let go to rest here, assured that this time and this space is being held for you, so you can just let go. Sense a feeling of effortlessness wash over you like a cloud of comfort, surrendering to rest, knowing lying here on the earth you are supported and held, held and cradled like a baby here on the earth. Become aware of your forehead softening now, your eyes becoming heavy and dropping back into their sockets with ease. Feel as the tension dissolves from your temples, your mouth softens, lips perhaps parting, your tongue falling back to rest in the bottom of your mouth, your jaw relaxing, letting go of all tension and feel your shoulders let go, your whole body softening further still into the earth beneath you, your bones laying heavy, your muscles almost falling away as you ease deeper and deeper into stillness, deeper and deeper into rest. You are now entering the state of Yoga Nidra, Breathing in through your nose, aware of the air coming into the body. And then just exhale back out through the nose. Again, just be really aware of the breath leaving the body. And witness how your belly rises on your deep inhale through your nose. And let's go on your exhale and sense the air coming in through your nostrils, filling your entire body. Perhaps you notice the coolness of the air on the inhale and the warmth of the air on your exhale. Continue in your own time.
and you might now like to bring a count to your breath, perhaps inhaling for two, and then exhale for four. Inhale for two, and exhale for four. And again, continue in your own time with your own breath. And in your mind's eye now, take some time to see your body lying here on the earth. See the form your body is taking, the space your body is lying in, and watch a stillness falls over your body, resting here. Feel the clothes and the blankets which cover your body. Notice what fabric is resting against your skin. And notice those areas of your skin which remain open to the air. And now, listen to what sounds are around you. Widen your ears to soak in all the sounds around you. Sounds which are far, far away and sounds which are closest to you. Go deeper into awareness. Become mindful of everything. Dive deeper into a sea of acute awareness. Be aware of everything. And imagine now throwing a vast fishing net out to your external world, drawing everything inwards, reeling everything inwards. Focus on all of your senses, your internal sight, the sounds around you, the sensation of touch, taste, and even smell, all your senses flowing inwards now, gently and smoothly, simply leaving the external world behind. Move into your internal world and let everything else go. Alongside your breath, effortlessly breathing air into your body, become aware of the prana in your body now. Prana, your life force, the manifest energy of the universe, flowing through all of your energy channels, your nadis. The origin point for all nadis is the navel area, the central power of the body. Just think of a baby in the womb receiving all its nutrients through the cord connected at its navel. And whilst it's said that there are some 72,000 nadis in the body, there are three main channels, the Ida, Pingala, and the Shushumna. The Shushumna, or the central channel, runs up the spine along which are chakras or wheels of subtle energy are located in our subtle body, something we can't see but can definitely feel. Each chakra residing at the point where an accumulation of nadis connect together. Chakras were first mentioned in the Vedas, ancient sacred texts dating from 1500 to 1000 BC. We have many of these spinning wheels inside our body, but the main seven are situated along our spine at specific places. All have corresponding names, colors, and bija mantras, seed syllables which raise their energy levels. 
and all have a specific focus. When our chakras, our energy centers, are open and aligned, our bodies, physically, energetically, and spiritually, will be in a perfect and most natural state of balance, of homeostasis. And I invite you now to visualize these wheels of energy as we move through this practice. Imagine their colors, their locations inside your body, and the introductions to what each of these subtle energy wheels does for you. Bring your full awareness to this and invite a sense of opening up and clearing for each of the chakras during the practice. Take your attention now to the base of your spine. The first root chakra with its red color, Mulladhara, sits at the base of your spine. Perhaps you can visualize now a warm, deep red color residing here. Translating to root of existence, Muladhara is often known as the foundation of our energy body and is nourished by the energy of the earth. This chakra, this root, serves as your connection to the earth in your physical body, your foundation. It's where you feel grounded, solid and steadfast where you can fully trust and let go, knowing you are being held by the earth, protected and nourished. Like the roots of a tree, penetrating the earth, yet drawing energy and nutrients up from your roots and from the earth. Push down to rise up. Bringing your attention now to your spine at the point of your lower abdomen, just beneath your belly button, to your orange sacral chakra, Svarasthana, like the golden orange of the rising sun. Often translated to be the dwelling in a place of the self or where the self is established, this chakra is, unsurprisingly, associated with our sense of self, our individuality, creativity, sensuality, where we store our energy, where we can feel full of vitality. Associated with the element of water, Svathistana encourages a sense of flow, of movement, of letting go to a sense of expansion and pleasure. Let your breath flow now with this golden light, inhaling and exhaling, sparkling light to every cell of your body. Moving up above the belly button now to the solar plexus is the bright yellow chakra of Manipura, otherwise known as the City of Jewels. Here you find a treasure trove inside yourself, a trove of the most precious treasures and jewels, those things which really matter, your sense of well-being, of inner confidence and strength. With its element of fire, Imagine this bright yellow spinning wheel of energy now, giving you vitality, courage, and drive. The verdant green heart chakra, Anahata, lies behind the center of our chest, the door to our inner temple. Anahata translates to being boundless and unhurt, perhaps inviting us to the universal understanding that we cannot be hurt when we enter the internal realm of true, unconditional love. 
as the center of the chakras, Anahata sees us move away from the lower chakras, those of the physical, to the upper chakras, those of the spiritual. This chakra is all about gratitude, compassion, and acceptance. Its connection is with the element of air that is everywhere, giving us a deep sense of belonging everywhere, as well as a firm trust of our hearts being our true inner compass. Feel a deep sense of gratitude now, rising up from your verdant heart center. This wondrous feeling of thanks, of acknowledgement with awe for all the gifts you have in this life. Now take this inner compass of gratitude in your heart and acknowledge your heart's absolute truth, your heart's absolute longing, your Sankalpa. Your Sankalpa is your heart's deepest desire or intention. This isn't a frivolous wish to have something. Rather, it's what you know you can't afford not to have your must, your reason d'etre, your life's purpose. Now you may already be working with a Sankalpa, or perhaps one might not come today, and that's fine. You can just stay with this glorious sense of gratitude at your heart center. But if you feel there is something stirring within, an intention, a longing, create a statement in the present tense, starting with the words, I am, to encapsulate this feeling and make this intention real. Maybe you're working with a Sankalpa of wanting more balance in your life. Your Sankalpa might be I am centered and grounded. I am balanced regardless of what life brings. I am in my most natural state of balance. And whatever your Sankalpa, repeat your statement silently and wholeheartedly to yourself three times, embedding your Sankalpa like a seed sown in the depth of your consciousness. Or you can choose to simply stay with this sense of gratitude. And bring your attention now back to your body, lying here in this space. And focus all your attention now onto your right hand thumb and the very tip of your right hand thumb. First finger, middle finger, fourth finger and little finger. Bring your full focus and attention to the palm of your hand, to the back of your hand, your right wrist, lower arm, elbow, and the crease of your elbow, upper arm, shoulder. Focus your attention on the right hand side of your torso your hip, your thigh and your knee, your lower leg, your ankle, 
the sole of your foot. Your right big toe and the very tip of your toe. Second toe, third toe, fourth toe and little toe. Focus your attention on the top of your foot. All the way up your leg, your torso and down to your fingertips of your right hand and feel the entire right hand side of your body really alive now with this focus of attention you have given yourself. And now bring your attention to your left hand thumb and the very tip of your thumb. First finger, middle finger, fourth finger and little finger the palm of your left hand, the back of your hand, your left wrist, lower arm, elbow, and the crease of your elbow, upper arm, shoulder. Focus your attention on the left hand side of your torso to your left hip, your thigh, and your knee, your lower leg, ankle, all along the sole of your foot to land on the very tip of your left big toe. Second toe, third toe, fourth toe and little toe, all along the top of your foot. And then again, your left leg, the left hand side of your torso all the way down to your fingertips of your left hand. Your entire left hand side of your body feeling completely alive and rejuvenated by the focus of attention you have given yourself. And focus this attention now on the crown of your head and let it fall down the crown of your head to your forehead. Feel it softening even more. To your temples, everything softening and letting go. Your right eyebrow, your left eyebrow, your right eye and your left eye. Along your nose to the very tip of your nose all along your top lip and bottom lip. Your tongue and your teeth are softening and letting go. Feel all along your jaw, just soften. Along your neck, your right ear, your left ear. And just let your attention now fall into the little valley between your collarbones and then along your right collarbone and left. All along your torso, just let the attention fall all the way down your legs to your toes. Fill the entire front side of your body completely alive with this focus of attention. And then taking the attention along the soles of your feet, along the backs of your legs, your buttocks, all along your spine, to the crown of your head. Your whole body lit up with this focus of attention. The whole of your body. Your right leg, your left leg, both legs at the same time, both legs together your right arm and your left arm, both arms at the same time, both arms together. Feel your entire body, your whole body, lit up with the focus of attention you give yourself. Your body lying here 
radiance with this awareness, shining with this focus of attention, your whole body, your wonderful whole body. And feel your body become heavy now, heavy and dense lying here on the earth. Notice how your bones let go to weigh deep, deep down onto the earth. The weight of your head, the weight of all your bones, muscles and matter. Everything sinking down, letting go to weigh all the weight of your world upon the earth. And now that feeling of weight, let it go to a feeling of weightlessness and allow a lightness to fall over your body. Feel light and expansive, rising up to have a sensation of floating, of being as light as a feather. And you might want to alternate between these two states of awareness with your inhale and your exhale. Maybe on your inhale you have that sense of weightlessness and lightness in your body. And as you exhale you have that feeling of heaviness, of density as you sink onto the earth. Inhale, feel that lightness. Exhale, feel the heaviness. Inhale, lightness. Exhale, heaviness. And just move between these states in your own time with your own breath. Now, what does it feel like to keep both these states of awareness in your mind's eye together at the same time? Lightness and heaviness together. Heaviness and lightness together. Bring your attention now to your throat, to the blue of Vishuddha, your throat chakra, the center of expression and communication. The word Vishuddha breaks down as Shuddha, meaning pure, and V, which is an emphasis, leading to the most pure, the purest, most authentic you. Here, lies the foundation of expression of yourself, your truth, purpose, creativity and individuality, and of communication, of how you speak and show up in the world, how you communicate your needs and desires to manifest the world in which you wish to live. 
This chakra is associated with ether, the essence of emptiness in which our true selves exist. Breathe into this beautiful blue space, clear blue like a summer sky, without a cloud of doubt or reservation in your mind. Breathe life into your truth, your pure essence, the most authentic you. The third eye chakra, Ajna, lies behind the center of your eyes on your forehead in its resplendent indigo color. This is your center of intuition, of insight, inspiration, and imagination. This chakra translates to beyond wisdom, or perceive and command and enables you to see and understand your inner and outer worlds, a place where you can safely transcend your earthly worries and know your true authentic self from within, where you can safely let go of old thought patterns and behaviors and fully embrace the new, no longer afraid of the unknown, no longer afraid of change. With its quality of light, in activating our third eye, we go beyond dualistic thought, elevating our consciousness and seeing the self and the universe as one. And finally, to our seventh chakra, Sahasrara, at the tip of the Shushumna Nadi, located above the crown of your head, a little above your physical form, see a crown circling and sparkling around the top of your head, with its astonishing colors of violet merging into a translucent, ultraviolet white light. Sahasrara translates to a thousand petals, or infinitively unfolding. It is our most subtle chakra, relating to pure consciousness, your gateway to the divine. Imagine your own beautiful, unique crown now above your head, pulsing with this radiant, ultraviolet light pulsing with your breath, your prana, your life force. Imagine the energy from this chakra filling your entire body from the top of your head to the tips of your toes, the tips of your fingers, your whole body radiating and shining with energy, sparkling with vitality. Here, take some time to see, in your mind's eye, all your chakras open and clear, 
these beautiful wheels of energy spinning in harmony, in complete flow, brightly lit up by their respective colors, everything flowing with ease, everything in balance, everything in its most natural, open state. And take this energy now, and with your full awareness, allow it to flow from the base of your spine to the crown of your head on your inhale. From your Muladhara Chakra, it flows all the way up, opening up each and every chakra on its way to the crown of Sahasrara that resides resplendently above your physical form. And on your exhale, it continues to open and clear the spaces along your spine. This effortless, natural flow of breath, enabling a beautiful flow of equilibrium, a spacious opening of Muladhara, Svadhisthana, Maripura, Anahata, Vishuddha, Ajna, and Sahasrara. In your most natural, and perfectly balanced state of homeostasis, your most natural state of being. Bring your attention back to your breath now, inhaling and exhaling effortlessly with ease. An effortless flow of air and prana in your body, your whole body, your body breathing itself. And again, with your mind's eye, see your body lying here in this space. Witness your body lying here. Feel the weight of your body lying on the earth, the connection of your body with the earth. And then notice those places where your body is free of the connection to the earth. Your face, perhaps, your hair, maybe the soles of your feet or the small of your back. Just take some time to notice the difference here. Those places where you are connected to the earth and those places where you remain free. Just witness. Be the observer. I'm going to now invite you to visualize some things. I will name them in succession. I may go fast or slow. And it doesn't matter if you don't usually visualize easily. Try not to force anything here. 
Fully trust yourself and what appears to you. Dropping back down to focus with your mind's eye on the space just in front of your eyebrows. Chichidakash. Imagine snowdrops pushing up through the winter earth. A double rainbow after the storm. Shooting stars in the night sky. A calm, still lake surrounded by mountains. A long and winding road. Summer sunshine warming your skin. A raging sea with crashing waves. The murmurations of starlings. Drops of pure, clear water resting on a leaf. Fork lightning at night. Bluebell woods in the spring. A robin's bird song. An empty beach with clear turquoise sea and golden sands. The sound of children laughing. A waterfall. A monastery built high on a mountain. A field full of lavender. A single stag on a moor. A room to call your own. A room to call your own. A room to call your own. Returning once again to your intention, your sankalpa, or perhaps just staying again with this sense of gratitude, the gratitude of our heart center, of Annahatta. If you are returning to your sankalpa, really invite every sense of your intention to be felt in the body. This time really making it real in your body, every cell inviting the sensations of your intention. And repeat your sankalpa silently and wholeheartedly three times. In the words of Swami Satyananda, anything in life can fail you, but not the sankalpa, the resolution made in Yoga Nidra.
your Sankalpa is made and shall be resolved. Again, bring your awareness back to your breath. And really breathe into your body now. Fill your entire body up with beautiful fresh air and feel your body land into this space again. See your body lying in the space you're in. See the walls around you. Maybe recall the colors of the clothes that you're lying in. Maybe the ceiling, the floor, but landing back into this space. And know that you can keep all the good intentions and the good feelings of this practice as you return to this space. Maybe giving your fingers and your toes a little wriggle, taking all the time in the world. Maybe have a little stretch. Maybe move your tongue around inside your mouth. Perhaps take your hands to your eyes and gently, gently open your eyes, not letting the rush of light come in too quickly. Everything gently. And may the peace which passes all understanding keep your heart and your mind in the knowledge and presence of love. This practice of Yoga Nidra is now complete. <laughs>